in the latest work at Ubas to guess the weight of a box. Well, you will be seeing on this tape a human being lifting a box. And actually, you will not be seeing the whole human being, but you will only be seeing dots of light. And from that, you should judge the weight of the box that he's lifting. Now, this first lift is a standard weight, and the standard is 16 kilos. So you should not judge this one, just look at it. Now this time you should judge the weight. Twenty-three kilos, I'd say. In this case, the subject was correct to within a kilo each time. Johansson's next experiments will explore the way the visual flow, the systematic way the world seems to change as it moves past you, can give you unconscious but very precise information about just how you yourself are moving. See, this section here illustrates the flow quite nicely because there's a slit across the screen. So you can see the expansion Oh, yes, yes. It's a very nice That's the aspect of the work at Uppsala that most interests David Lee, a psychologist from Edinburgh. He's done a great deal of work himself on the visual analysis of the moving world. The basic function of vision is to obtain information for controlling activity. It may require a little bit of thought to realize this because a lot of this goes on at an unconscious level. So, for example, if you're walking down the street or driving down a busy street, and talking to somebody, you're not often aware of how much you're using vision to control your movement. A very simple case of controlling movement is controlling your balance. When you're standing, your body is always swaying slightly, and you have to control that sway. And one of the major sources of information for controlling your body sway is vision. And it works at a very, very precise level there. And it was this sort of thing that led us to do the balance experiments in the swinging room at Edinburgh. The room and a trolley could be moved independently, and he found he could fool people completely. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Your brain seems to take visual information much more seriously than information from your muscles and your balancing mechanisms. Here the floor isn't moving at all, only the walls are moved just a little. That's quite enough to make the toddler fall down.